This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. I gigged with the quad cortex with a Lone Star based kind of preset and the idea was that I had a clean Lone Star path at the top and a dirty Lone Star path at the bottom. I'm going to try and rebuild something like this in Helix. Hopefully it's going to sound good like it maybe did in the intro. The idea is to keep this relatively simple and straightforward and that's what I'm thinking is probably one of the better approaches for this live stuff. So my live preset has got a little bit over involved and maybe I think a little bit over slushy in some places so I wanted to just build something a bit more straightforward basic here's that right let's get stuck into this then so I'm going to start with a, a blank preset altogether so hopefully you can follow along with this and you can build the same preset if you did like the results um, right so we're gonna have two paths here I'll leave this one off for now though right so start off with we're gonna have amp guitar and we want Cali Texas channel one now if I actually just copy this paste down here and do that that's probably the quickest way to get that done right so on this path here I'm gonna take the drive down to five for now base at five let's take the mids to five treble to 5 and presence to 5 this might be a better starting point I don't know we'll find out then I'm going to use on this path here um, a dual cab I think we're going to go with stereo for now because uh, I think I may want that as an option certainly recording at home uh, so 160 ribbon one inch away earlier reflections up to about 30% and then on this other side let's use the 87 condenser Eric Johnson's favorite mic and 30% um, now what should we get from this let me press record <laughs> Thank you. 
just a straightforward unfussy clean tone and I think that's good enough for me to start from so what have we got going on again we've got the 112 lead 80 here maybe I'll change that to for right, 12 V30 Cali V30 87 and early reflections up to 30% so we get <laughs> Now, other options that I'm going to want on here, for sure, some delay. Um, so, first of all, um, my kind of go-to delay setting would be something like this. Uh, let's take this down to 350. Um, so this might be kind of something I could switch on or off occasionally or what I'm actually thinking is that I might assign this to my expression pedal and I'll do that by holding this down left mix controller exp2 0 and max value maybe like 30 40% and same for the right mix uh, what am I doing 0 30, 40, right, and I might also copy that action copy because I want this to be applied to kind of both paths when I want it, uh, we'll just press don't want the chorus on. Okay, so that is then assigned to this expression pedal. So that's kind of like a um, an option for delay whenever I want it. And then I also want like a single delay. Uh, so I'm going to put this actually between the amp and the cab because then I can chuck it in mono and not worry about it um, and I'll go for the vintage digital I want it to be a dotted and that can be here and and if I take the headroom up full then we're on to a winner. So, take that off. Anything else? A little bit of spring reverb never hurt. So I'm going to put a stereo. Um, maybe I'll use the glitz though because I know it uses a little bit less. It's a little bit too much in it. the decay a bit lower than that and as an option um, maybe a phaser pebble phaser here save well, that's the stone so maybe we want the deluxe script phaser that's probably what we want in it So that's there as an option, save, and then what about a pretty drive as well? Um, so something that's going to work here to give us that kind of mid-gain boost. Um, maybe a tube screamer, something simple. <laughs> So that'll be here. Okay, right. So now, what have we got going on? If I press save, and this I want to be snapshot. I need to put snapshots down here. So this will be my clean snapshot for I want this delay on. 
bypass and then snapshot one I want this path basically to go down to no volume at all so the easiest way to do this probably to turn this channel volume down to zero right so now channel volume 4.6 there it should be zero here and zero here cool so now our clean will come through on snapshot 3 clean with delay Right, so that covers that part. Now, what I want to do here is basically almost the opposite. I'm going to have a little bit of a gate on this one. Take the threshold down a bit. And for snapshot one, this needs to be on, doesn't it? But for snapshot three, um, we can turn this channel volume basically down, channel volume to zero, channel volume to zero. So then we get, sorry, I need to actually have a cab on here, action, copy, action, paste. Snapshot one will be our rhythm, snapshot two will be our lead, snapshot three will just be clean. So none of this coming through there. Right, so let's start with our rhythm tone and for this again I'm going to use something up front to kind of tickle things a bit maybe the Timmy because we have loads of control over that in medium level 5 um, right save um, <laughs> And let's just start with everything around five, mid five, treble five. Take these drives to around seven, maybe seven and nine. I'm using a strat here. I'll use the thick and presence at five. And let's just. <laughs> Just a, again a, a pretty unfussy rhythm tone. And if I want to get to some slightly lower gain territory, use the Timmy, um, turn that off. By default I'll want it on and then for my lead tone let's think about what we could do here I'm gonna want the mids to come up uh, controller snapshot again um, mids to come up and maybe the drive 2 to come up as well and the channel volume where is that should be at 3.6 maybe a bit higher because we want a bit of a, a volume boost right <laughs> For this kind of lead tone, I like to take the high cut down. Let's take it down to maybe like 4 ish, 4.3 on both sides. And. 
Okay, and then also I would like to have another option for delay here, which generally will just come on as it is. So 350, 500, 70, and this would be kind of like my standard delay settings. I'm going to leave a reverb off of this because then that gives us some more DSP to try other things if we need to in future. Um, but for the rhythm, I want that bypassed. And then let's see what we get then. So, uh, also, actually, I should probably have for this one here trails on. Right, so that's how I put together the preset that you heard in the intro. Uh, hopefully, this is going to work okay. chorus on that delay which I don't want so off um, so yeah that's how I might put together that now I can hear a bit of that bleeding through I think can you channel volume zero yeah there's definitely a little bit coming through um, so if I also then on this snapshot I need to take this level way down no, on this snapshot, so that we don't have any of this bleeding through. Have our clean. Clean with delay, rhythm. And our lead. Hopefully that could be useful for one or two of you. I'm going to try gigging that one, I think, um, when I get a chance to. Um, what I do like about the Helix is this ability to mix snapshots and stomps, which is something we can't quite do on the Quad Cortex yet. Um, we've also got another page underneath here, which we could put some more assignments on if there were little things that we wanted to do. Um, for instance, I could put in some secondary snapshots here that are slightly lower gain ones, potentially. Um, yeah, let's see. This, I think, might be a bit more of a straightforward way to set this up. Um, a bit more suitable for, for the gigging kind of preset where I'm not having too much stuff turned on or off by snapshots. It's just the, the basics. Catch you in another video soon. Cheers.